British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams. I'm here for the British Gas Swimming Championships 2011. Now we've had a fantastic week so far. It's our eighth and final day. So on the final day of these British Gas Swimming Championships 2011, among the highlights, we've got Francesca Hulsol and Amy Smith locking horns once again. Will it be double gold for Francesca Hulsol? She edged Smith in the 100 freestyle. Can she do it again on the 50? Staying with the women, we've got Hannah Miley. Against the clock this time in the 400 medley after the disqualification of Amy Wilmot. The European and Commonwealth champion and the British record holder should have it all their own way on the way to Shanghai. For the men, watch out for Tom Haffield and Joe Roebuck in the 400 individual medley. Haffield, the world championship finalist, is going up against the man in form. Roebuck has already struck silvers in the 200 fly and the 200 medley. Is this his chance for the first gold of the week? And then the main event, the blue ribbon 1500 meters freestyle sees David Davis back in the pool. But he's going to have a tough time against Daniel Fogg and Tom Allen. And what a race this is going to turn out to be. Davis, the Olympic bronze medalist from 2004 and the silver medalist in the open water 10K event is back to form. But Daniel Fogg won bronze at the Commonwealth Games last year and young Tom Allen struck gold in the 800 freestyle, a terrific race in the men's 1500. And watch out too for Liam Tancock, the world record holder on the 50 backstroke. He's going to give a demonstration of backstroke sprinting. And we're away, chasing Zoe Baker's British record of 30.57. Catherine Johnson in pole position, the Commonwealth finalist from Edinburgh University, beginning to Break away from the field of the 25 meter mark. Going strongly with her, Lowry Tynan, World and Commonwealth Games representative from the Loughborough ITC. Everything in a line as they come to the closing stages now. Concentration important. Closing in on the finish, applying the power into the stroke. And on the final stroke, the touch goes to Catherine Johnston, 32 47. Congratulations. How does it feel to win a British Gas Women Championship title? It's my first ever medal here, so it feels really good. Time's not as fast as I liked, but it's still really positive for this time of the year. All the experience with Tom Haffield in the middle of the pool. Had a very mixed year heading into the Commonwealth Games and Delhi. A little illness that went around the teams also affected Tom Haffield hoping to make amends this year in the long wind up to London 2012. That as we go through the backstroke, it's still Joe Roebuck with a commanding lead at the moment, but the field are pulling back on Roebuck. Keep your eyes on Xavier Mohammed, the 19 year old teammate of Tom Halfield down with Dave Haller in the city of Cardiff. Silver in the 200 back, fourth in the 200 medley. Mohammed now stroke for stroke. Mohamed taking over the lead, nothing in it though. Five one hundredths of a second between Mohamed and Joe Roebuck. The field now coming back to Roebuck at the midpoint. Roberto Pavoni in two, Mohamed in three. Here comes Tom Haffield then in four. Lewis Smith, Commonwealth Games finalist, six in the 200 medley from lane five. Has got a little bit of work to do to catch up to the four leaders. Matthew Johnson, the prodigious 15-year-old from the city of Sheffield, is finding the going a little bit tough at the top end of this. And he's got the future in front of him. Maintaining the pressure on the field, then Joe Roebuck, the 25-year-old, is not letting this go without a fight. Mohamed slipping down a little to Roberto Pavoni from lane two. Pavoni streaking away from the field. Joe Roebuck hanging on. This is a two-horse race as we come to the final 100. Tom Haffield is going to have to make his move from lane four if he wants to figure in the top two that have a chance of booking their ticket to Shanghai and the World Championships without having to come back to Sheffield in June and doing it all over again. 3.14.48 to 3.14.61. It's Pavoni and Roebuck in two and six. Here comes Tom Haffield on the charge from the middle of the pool. 
Xavier Mohamed and Lewis Smith from three and five. Look as though they're going to make up the numbers as the top three turn with 50 to go. Roberto Pavoni from two is going to get his feet to the wall and drive away from Joe Roebuck in lane six. Roebuck, who set all the running on the first 100 fly. How much is that going to take out of him in the closing stages? Because he's going to need everything in the charge to the, to the wall. Roberto Pavoni is looking across now at Joe Roebuck. Two and six, stroke for stroke. Roebuck sneaking a quick look to his left, but he's breathing to the right. And Roberto Pavoni has got the momentum as they come into the final five. Keep your eyes on the clock. A terrific swim from Roberto Pavoni. 4.13.37 books his ticket to Shanghai. Roberto, you've booked your ticket to Shanghai. You must be delighted. I'm so relieved. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone who supported me and helped me through this because I wasn't feeling my best today. And uh, I'm so glad I pulled it out of the bag. <laughs> And here we go, a terrific start from Francesca Halsall. All eyes on four and five. Amy Smith and Francesca Halsall once again going eye to eye. Stroke for stroke down the 50-meter sprint as they did at the end of the 100. Also in contention, Georgina Hine from Ealing in three. Keep your eyes on the finish. Head down, Francesca Halsall kicking for the wall. The British record holder stops the clock in 25.08 to make it double gold for... Francesca Halsall, gold in the 100, gold again in the 50. Thanks for that, James. I do believe I have Fran with me. Fran, congratulations. Is this week even better than you expected now? It's your second, uh, well, great race. Thank you. Yeah, it was a great race, and a 50 is always a fun way to finish the meet, so I really enjoyed that, and thanks to everyone who came and watched. It's really nice to have the support here, so it's good fun, and I've really enjoyed it this week. Well, just have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You want to know how to sprint backstroke? Here it is, the world record holder, Liam Tancock, already half a body length clear as they come up at 15 meters. Being pressed a little by Luke, Wall Luke Wood from three, the 19-year-old and defending champion, but his title is going to move back to Liam Tancock from four. Nearly a body length clear of the field. Tancock's world record at 24.04. He's 24.95. Tancock in terrific form. Behind Tancock, Craig McAnally, the best of the rest at 25.92. 26.43 the time for Luke Wood. That's your top three. Thanks for that, James. I have Liam with me. Liam, congratulations. That's your second gold of the meet. Fantastic swim. Yeah, it was really, you know, just about getting out and racing fast. And, uh, yeah, really pleased with the time. You know, two golds. And I made the world's team, so I'm, yeah, chuffed to bits. Stroke for stroke then. David Davis and Daniel Fogg. A place at the World Championships in Shanghai this summer up for grabs. Only two can go, remember. For both of them to go, they both have to go under 15.11. And at 12.08, Graham, they should make it under 15.11. You'd hope so. I, th I think there's going to be a case here, seeing how much Tom's got left at the end. I think it'll be three of the guys fighting for two places. I, I see them all, all three being inside the qualifying time here. So it's just a question of... Uh, I guess the old cliche, who wants it most now at this stage? All three guys will all be hurting and hurting a lot. All right, then that's it. Graham Smith says, who wants it the most? Three into two won't go. David Davis in pole position. He's the British record holder, but that's down at 14.45.95. Forget about that. Davis now beginning to impose himself at the business end of this 1500. Stroke for stroke between Davis and Fogg. Tom Allen has been the nearly man, and he's been hanging on to the ankles of David Davis all the way through this race. Coming in 1,300. This is it now, 200 metres to go. Graham Smith says, who wants it the most? This is where you've got to start kicking, and very heavy around the turns now, Tom Allen. He's only 18, so you would think that there's plenty more in the future for Tom Allen, but he's up against two terrifically experienced athletes. And with 150 metres to go now, they must see the light at the end of the tunnel, Graham. You think so, yes. Yeah, both athletes now will be just thinking, trying, trying to hit this turn as best possible, then coming down the third to last 50, picking up the pace, and then I'd imagine most of these guys won't wait, wait to the last 100. Now you'll see start, guys starting to sprint with about 125 metres to go, most likely. Here it is then, the wind-up for the grandstand finish at the end of 15 minutes or so of terrific swimming. And David Davis stretching away from the field now. He's making a bid for glory ahead of Daniel Fogg now. 
What kind of response have we got from the defending champion? The Commonwealth bronze medalist is now at the hips of David Davis. The Olympic bronze medalist in the 1500 in 2004 turned his hand to the open water. Had terrific success in 2008. Another Olympic medal in his kickback. But this race is not finished. Daniel Fogg is having a go at the double Olympic medalist. In a bid to race in this event in Shanghai at the World Championships, Tom Allen has been left standing. This is all about David Davis and Daniel Fogg with 50 to go now. Davis, the 26-year-old. Daniel Fogg is only 23. And driving for home, David Davis is going to take victory in the 1500 freestyle. What a way to finish the week. He's been waiting all week for this. Kicking for home. What an exhibition of 1500 meter swimming. David Davis is going to strike gold for Cardiff. Keep your eyes on the clock. The qualification time is 15.11 for both swimmers. Davis takes gold in 15.06. 15.08. Both of them are going to go to Shanghai to compete in the World Championships. Thanks for that, James. I do have David with me here. David, congratulations. Fantastic race. You've actually qualified for Shanghai. You must be so relieved. Yeah, massively relieved. Um, Foggy's such a tough guy, you know, and uh, he's a good mate of mine, but I just wish he would have gone away then. He just <laughs> couldn't shift his back for a great race, and uh, I'm obviously delighted to uh, be on the team for Shanghai. I know you took uh, him out right at the end. Was that your tactical plan? Well, I'd rather have got rid of him earlier, but uh, <laughs> I knew he was going to be tough, and... Uh, we always used to train together. And we always used to mess about and train, like saving it for the last sort of length five meters and trying to spring each other out. So I thought I better go a bit earlier. So I went from about sort of 150 out, and then really went for it on the last length. And uh, even then, I wasn't sure if I was going to get rid of him because he's, you know, he's a really tough guy. Demonstration swimming then from Hannah Miley in lane four. Also going strongly from lane eight, the 16-year-old from Hillingdon, bronze medal winner in the 200 backstroke, Carly Mann. The question is for Carly Mann, can she hang on as the rest of the field come back to her on the breaststroke leg? Hannah Miley will swim away from them. Terrific work being done over the last 18 months or two years on Hannah Miley's breaststroke. And the results speak for themselves. Keep your eyes on Shanghai at these World Championships and support Hannah Miley as the European champion goes up against the best in the world. Behind Miley then, the field coming back to Carly Mann, a terrific backstroke leg from the 16-year-old down in lane eight. Can she hang on? Going strongly from three then, Kate Hutchinson, bronze medal winner in the 200 medley, Commonwealth Games finalist in Delhi last year. Emma Smith uh, swimming in her second final of the week. Smithers swimming in five and has her eyes on one of the minor medals. 4.45.08, the qualifying time for Shanghai. 4.41.63 for the second place swimmer. Miley in 3.35. So she's going to be around 4.45. She's going to have to get going to get underneath the qualifying time comfortably. A terrific race developing behind Hannah Miley, but Hannah Miley needs your support as she goes for a 4.45. This is the last event of the championships. Kate Hutchinson is the best of the rest behind Hannah Miley as she turns with 50 to go. Hutchinson, the 20-year-old, holding off the challenge of Emma Smithhurst. Carly Mann still in the mix down from lane eight. And lane two, Sophie Smith, the 16-year-old from Leicester, the European junior champion making a bid for the minor medals. But this is about Hannah Miley, the European and Commonwealth champion, gunning for home. 4.45.08, the time to beat. It's going to be two gold medals for Hannah Miley in the 200 and the 400 individual medley. 4.39.12, magnificent swimming then from Hannah Miley, the British record holder. 4.46.55 for Kate Hutchinson. And in the battle for bronze, it was won by Emma Smithhurst of 4.49.55. Hannah, congratulations. Did you perhaps save the best till last? Um, I just had to give it my all. I mean, it's the last race of the meet. And, you know, great to sort of finish with the crowd support. And, uh, and yeah, I've never had been the uh, last person to finish in the last event. So it was uh, really exciting. Been a long, long, tough week. And uh, really pleased with how everything's gone.
British Gas, proud sponsors of the British swimming teams.